Lainey. Yes. You're a very cool adult that I know. I. That is a great honor, so I will try to live up to that. Well, I want to start off if, if your mom has ever given you really good advice that you could then give to me now. I, yeah, I wrote a book about my mother, mm -hmm. and she definitely has given me probably the best advice. My mother, like, you know, she was like, you're not the prettiest. <laughs> you're not going to be the smartest. But no. what you can be the best at is working hard. Yeah. Like, she was like, because you don't need any mm -hmm. genetic gifts. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. So she's like, you can win the race at working hard. Make sure that no one beats you at working hard. Yeah. Which is, I felt like it was a really accessible thing yeah. to tell someone because it's achievable for everybody. Do you think that would also be like your best advice to someone else? Or do you have like separate advice that you would give to like your own teenage self or to another teenager? So I wish I could go back to, to myself as a teenager and be like, get your shit together and yeah. stop skipping class. Yeah. Like, yeah. The advice I would give is very simple. Go to school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stop hanging it's out. It's good advice though. Yeah. I just got my car. Right. Uh, I, I was booting around my car mm -hmm. all the time. Like, uh, I would say, like, don't be a loser. You <laughs> loser. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you, so I know you have like a gossip column mm -hmm. and as someone who's like, I guess like a millennial or like has really grown up surrounded by like celebrity culture, I like wonder how you're like being also someone who's surrounded by that, how you sort of navigate celebrity culture in like a healthy way. Yeah, my, my perspective on that is mm -hmm. that first of all, I do not accept when people call celebrity culture or gossip unhealthy. Right, okay. We don't call sports reporting unhealthy. Yeah. I think that like everything, mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. books, transportation, geography, everything can be good and bad. Yeah, so yeah, that's for good. For sure, there's good gossip yeah. and there's bad gossip. Yeah. Just like there are good books and there are bad books. And yeah. there are good people and there are bad people. And there's good sports and there's bad sports. Yeah. With celebrity culture and gossip, I think when it's good, mm -hmm. it can be critical yeah. to understanding who we are as a culture and as a society. Mm -hmm. I do think that when celebrity gossip is discussed in a productive way, it can be illuminating right. parts of our culture that we definitely need to talk about. So when we gossip and it's disparaged mm -hmm. or demeaned as woman talk and yeah. bullshit and just, it's it, it's actually bullshit to call it that because the information we're exchanging could potentially save lives. Yeah, no, that's so true. It's such an easy way to be dismissive of, especially I think it's true, like femme identities, just to say that like, oh, it's gossip and it's like not relevant. I like one of my things about going into adulthood is I always sort of fear like losing time for like, really simple things that make me happy. I feel like if I hadn't been such a time waster in mm -hmm. my 20s and I wasted so much time, I, I feel like in my 30s and now, I would have been looking back saying I should have f***ed around some more. <laughs> but now I feel like I don't have to because I f***ed around so much. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, maybe this is not good adult advice and your parents would not No, I love it. You, but f*** around. Like, okay, don't yeah. feel guilty about sitting around listening to your vinyl records eating yeah. sugary cereal. Do it as much as you can.